Hey guys, welcome to Strong with Raj, no nonsense strength training. So this was a pretty good session after my back squats, 160 kg. I went on to do my presses. Uh, quite happy with my press. Uh, in four workouts before this press workout, I was quite unrealistic about my capability, my strength levels for press. And I tried 90 kg, 95 kg. And I failed miserably. So I thought, well, I just have to go light. So this session was pretty good in that regard. 80 kgs it was. If you watch carefully each time what happens to my left side, my left arm, the left side of the bar, uh, as it gets heavier, you might be able to observe. And that has been a little bit of an issue. Uh, after this one, 80 kgs coming up, you will see more in that. Wherever it is heavy weights where I'm struggling, the bar goes slightly seesaw, I should say. So let's have a look. And if you pause it on the way up, you will see the discrepancy that exists. Uh, it is either from my scapula or could be my shoulder. Sometimes I even think that it could be something to do with, with my SI joint. But something similar is happening with deadlift as well. My left side is very slow. The whole bar is very wonky. So I've decided to do lighter reps of uh, presses and higher, uh, higher uh, volume. So that way I can train my left side to be more consistent when pressing up. Uh, as you can see in the lighter reps, it is not so obvious. Whenever there's a grind, the left side is just lazy and literally has to catch up with the right. And if you look at my uh, thumbnail of this video, you will see how seesaw, how wonky, how imbalanced my bar is, highlighting that there is something going on with my left side it's my left shoulder or scapula. Whether there is a muscle which is not working at all, it's totally broken or sleeping, or there is some nerve damage that is causing for the left arm to move so slowly. Pain-wise, it is uh, manageable. It does hurt, but it, it, it is not as bad. So there is a constant investigation and analysis going on I love my presses. I, I want to get back to my 100 kg press and I have to be a little careful. I, As I mentioned, I went a bit gung-ho. After not pressing for a long time, I went uh, and tried at least three or four sessions, 90 kgs, and it did not move at all. And uh, I must say it is a little bit not depressing. It's a very serious word. It's a bit demoralizing at that point. But uh, as um, as an experienced lifter, I have, you know, all the tools available and they are not something special. They are not uh, 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 esoteric knowledge. It is common sense. Go light, do higher reps, get your confidence back, improve your range of motion and over the time, use the principle of overload progression. It, it is same for everyone. So I'm going to do that and I'm very determined to get back to my 100 kg press. But for before that, my next will be 85 kg press, then 90 kg. If I get to 90 kg, uh, then it'll be a good uh, way to see how long will it take me to get to 100. It all depends from 80 to 90 kg journey how slow my left arm would be if it is really slow and if it's not participating much then 100 kg it's it's a long way away but i want to remain positive and optimistic as you can see in the video i'm just really uh, figuring out i think a lot in between my sets and i think of what cue i'm going to repeat and apply in the next rep what is it that i need to work on is it my quads to be tight do I need to not lean back too much? Do I need to think of pressing actively from my left side? That's something I have to start putting attention on. Really press hard from my left side. Let it um, sort of 
jump that gun before the right side. So there's all sorts of tricks going on in the head and, and, and then I try to apply them. Uh, it's been a good going. Uh, it is not absolutely smooth sailing, but uh, I'm on the path. So the bar moves relatively smooth here. It's not seesaw. It's not wonky. Anyway, guys, I hope you like my journey on squat 200 kg and press 100 kg if you like. Please like, subscribe, share and I will see you next time. Thank you guys.